What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you're following me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. This video is all the stuff that I've picked up throughout the week. Uh, there's not a great deal, I'll be honest. Um, there's a strange lot. I say strange, it's the sort of thing you don't see very often. Uh, and there's a few of the, the normal bits. So we'll go through the normal bits first and then we'll go from there and just see what's going on. So standard charity shop, paid a pound for a Wii Remote, should get £10 CX trading for that if it works. Uh, admittedly the last lot of like, I think I tried to take like six in, turned out three or four of them didn't work at all. So I've got a whole box of spares and repairs for Wii Remotes, but yeah, looks to be nice and clean, like really nice and clean. So that should hopefully be okay. GTA 3 on the PS2 with a really good condition map. GTA Vice City, again, a really, really good condition map. The Simpsons skateboarding, complete with manual. So those three games are going to be going into storage and what I normally do is build up until I've got one of each of the GTAs for the PS2 and one of each of the Simpsons games for the PS2 and then just sell them as a bundle which is normally I think Simpsons I normally do about 15 to 20 pounds for and the GTAs are normally a little bit more expensive depending on the, uh, the condition of the maps. And we have some CEX trade fodder, not the best I'm afraid. We have Hello Kitty around the world with Hello Kitty, paid a pound. Um, one of these is only worth one pound twenty trading or something. Monster High, Skultimate Roller Maze. Unfortunately, with this particular charity shop, um, it's an expensive charity shop at like that. But as soon as you go into like this area of my town, signal's terrible. And as soon as you go into a building in this part of town, signal is just non-existent. So I couldn't check. So I would have thought. Well, my thinking was when I was in a charity shop. Hello Kitty, it's still, it's not as good as Peppa Pig, but there should still be money in it. And in Monster High, again, there should still be mon uh, money in it. So I think one of them is five trading and the other one is like £1.25 or something ridiculous. So £2 spent, not bad, I suppose. And now we've got the big lot, which I'm going to attempt to pick up in one. So this could go really, really badly wrong. We have Nintendo books, issue number one to issue number 53. It weighs a little bit. Uh, yeah, 15 quid I paid for on Facebook and uh, there's quite a few. So we'll go through and have a quick look. So as you guys can see then the spine actually makes the Nintendo logo and it looks like there was a start of Mario. So obviously it would have kept on going. Uh, basically the lady who was selling it, um, her son has moved out and she was just having a clear out. And I said, oh, if you've got any more retro games, please just give me a shout and I'll come around and have a look. Heard nothing yet, so um, we don't know, we'll see what happens. But 15 quid for all of those, I'm quite happy with that. So first up, we do have the best video game artwork of all time. Obviously, the Nintendo games. And yeah, there's a few magazines. We obviously have Heart Gold Soul Silver for the Nintendo on the front of this cover. And most of these seem to be have barely been used. They've not like been propped open. There's still quite a bit of a, still fairly taut. Originally with this one, there were three different covers. There was the Heart Gold Edition, the Soul Silver Edition, and the Subscriber Edition, which contained both, which is quite decent. So there may actually be variants of pretty much every single cover, but it's just your general, magazine i've not bought a gaming magazine in absolute years so i don't know i'll be keeping holding this for the time being i might take out one or two that i do want to keep and then the rest i might just get rid of i don't quite know as you guys can see there's part of mario on the spine so yeah it's going to annoy me that i don't have the complete set but it's one of those things that's going to keep on going and going and going and i don't really want to pay out what is going to end up being an absolute fortune in uh, in magazines which i'm never really going to read to be fair here we have another throwback it is from 2009 this magazine uh i'll tell you when exactly december 2009 so we've obviously got the new super mario bros for the wii on the front um and also which i didn't realize there's a massive modern warfare 2 spread inside as well and considering this has just been well not just for quite a while it's uh it's been backwards compatible on the xbox one so yeah, it's kind of cool. I suppose, not the worst. It's loads of magazines really, isn't it? Another cool looking front, we have the issue from October 2009. And I was just thinking, 
because these covers look quite cool what I'd love to do potentially in the future if you used to imagine a wall of all of these side by side now I reckon I could do it out of perspex but you would have to use perspex sheets and have it the height the width of the height of the magazine I reckon it's doable but I won't be able to do it for a few years another cool looking magazine we have the April 2008 well this is 10 years old that's gone really quickly so we have Mario Kart in the front and actually inside we do have some DS stickers for Guitar Hero that's really cool I was not expecting that when I opened it up and is there a mag oh there's a poster so poster wise we have a Mario Kart set of posters I'm gonna have to go through every single one of these now because that's not bad I almost want to frame it to keep it flat I don't want it to spend another 10 years being folded and never being looked at oh and the stickers for that came in this is Sega Superstar Tennis which is yeah it's different 2008 I'm going to have to go through these and see what else is in here. Here we have issue one, which is like 2006. So inside we actually do have some coasters. So this is, this is cool. This is, it's all in really good condition as well. Okay, so episode two has, there's two magazines and two uh, posters in this one. These may have been mixed up, no, I don't know. So it looks like an Animal Crossing on one side and is that Metroid on the other that's a cool looking poster that's not so cool looking but that one has been taken out before you can see the folds aren't quite lined up as they should be and okay another poster it looks to be like a double Super Mario I know this is another Metroid oh oh Okay, so on one side we have Super Mario and on the other side is the bottom half to the Metroid Prime, well Metroid Prime Hunter, Z. that's cool. So just flicking through um, and on magazine number 9 from November 2006 we've got a small Dragon Ball Z bit for Budokai Tenkaichi 2 unfortunately no poster now that would be a poster I would like to get one of the old original Dragon Ball Z posters well I say original early 2000s I say early 2000s mid 2000s okay so we're now on March 2007 as you can tell I'm now going from the oldest back up to the newest right there's a few magazines in this one I meant posters but no one saw that there is a poster pack we have the collector's edition poster pack which is supposed to have five posters oh man I got to tear it all apart which I'm not going to do but if I just show you guys the front you can see there's Mario Strikers Charged there's the Legend of Zelda the Phantom Hourglass uh, it looks to be some sort of street fight no <sighs> what's the one with Sub-Zero and Scorpion in it Mortal Kombat that's the one Trauma Center Second Opinion and Super Mario Galaxy that's cool and we have a proper poster we have a proper poster Mario Party 8 oh, okay okay this is do you reckon these are worth anything so we have on one side thank you and all the Super Mario characters are waving on the bottom side it's uh it's pretty much all the franchises that Nintendo use and then on the other side Mario Party 8 I really oh I really want to get these framed kind of but I think my 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 wife may kill me so we're now in May 2007 and we have some Pokemon bits we have what's that that's Gen 4 isn't it because that's what we're doing uh, um, on Pokemon Go at the moment uh, that's just cool because it's all in one piece which you don't see very often again kind of want to get it 
protected because I don't want it to break. And there's also a Zelda thing in here as well. This is limited edition number 30,755. It doesn't sound very limited to me. So we've jumped forward over into September 2008 and we have collector's edition poster pack. 12 amazing Nintendo designs. So in here we apparently have Animal Crossing, Rayman, Raving, Rabbids, Dead Rising, uh, Samba de Amigo, Zelda, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, that looks awesome. Uh, we have Sonic Unleashed, No More Heroes, Wario Land, Donkey Kong, not sure who that is, um, Overkill, that's, that looks familiar, that's going to annoy me now, because that does look really familiar. And as you can see, all the posters are still intact, that's quality. Well, that's all the inserts from those magazines. Now, a few of you guys who watch my videos who are local to me, if you guys want the magazines themselves, talk to me. Um, I won't, uh, I can't even speak. I'm tempted just to keep some of the posters for myself. Um, and I know that a few of the other guys who I have met along the way, um, they're also collectors as well. So by all means, if any of you guys want some of the magazines, there's only, to be honest, two or three I want to take out for myself. The rest of them are up for grabs. Uh, as I say, I'm not in this to, to make money. I'll be quite happy if I break even and just take out the bits that I want. So you guys know who you are. Just hit me up and we'll go from there. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.